Hi everyone! Today we're going to be looking at the Productivity 1000 PLC upgrade P1540 to P1550. Now detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the uh, videos in this series as well. So both uh, the P1540 and P1550 have up to 50 megabytes of uh, ladder memory. They have the micro SD card, they have the Ethernet port, uh, they have a USB R R RS-232, they have an RS-45, they have the, like I said, the micro USB port for your uh, logging information. So the capabilities and this uh, uh, tag bay system are identical, except for the 550 will allow remote I.O. capabilities. And what this will allow you to do is connect up to 16 GS drives with the communication module, up to four P1RX remote bases, um, so that basically more uh, expansion cards for the uh, from the uh, Productivity 1000 line, and four Protos uh, X TCP couplers. So these, the remote I.O. can be installed. Now if we actually look at the hardware that we have here, our existing uh, controller had the uh, P1540 with all the information and then we're going to add this module right here which is my uh, P1550. So if we open this up, we have our instruction booklet, we have our battery connectors, and then we have the unit itself. Box over there. And here is my unit. And you will see that we have our um, remote I.O. port located right here. And that is mainly the only difference that you see within these two controllers. Everything else is pretty much identical that we have. Now, in order to upgrade this, all we do is, first of all, we'll change the battery. So let's, uh, let's uncouple it first. We pull up these two tabs and we take a look at the bottom one. And we just pull this apart. We'll also um, undo the next card over and pull that apart. So that is our old CPU. So putting them side by side, you can see the only difference would be actually that bottom port, which does your remote IO and it's actually labeled that remote IO on here. Other than that, the programs will uh, merge to one another and you can upgrade very easily. Let's put that aside and let's now connect our unit here. You can see that this will accept the 24 volt as it did before. This cover and goes over this so that either you connect it here or by our power supply through our pins that are located right here. So snap that together. Unclip that. Then we have a connector here. We'll undo that. That connector for our bus. Plug that in. Put that down. And now let's prop this up a bit. We have upgraded our system now to the P1550. Now we can add our remote I.O. as we see here. And the one last thing we have to do is actually install our battery. And our battery, as you see, will pop up. We have our, our old system here, old CPU, we pop that up. We will take the battery out. And these batteries are interchangeable and it will slide right in here. And once we have it installed, there we go. We put that back down. And now we're all set to program our new controller. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free eBooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, 
please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new videos post every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.